Welcome to a new video lecture. Today we will discuss about the influence line diagram for shear force and the bending moment for simply supported beam. In the previous lecture, we already discussed about the concept of influence line diagram and also we draw the influence line diagram for the reaction and the supports. So from the definition itself, we will start the today's section. It is a graphical representation of the functions such as reaction and supports, then shear force, bending moment for a unit load moving over the span. In the previous lecture, I said we know down that if a beam is given and if a unit load is traveling, if a unit load is traveling from when x equal to 0 to when x equal to L, then how the variation of the uh, reactions then shear force at any position or any bending moment that is called the ILT. Okay, so when this one kilonewton is traveling over this surface, then how the how the each point will vary will be represented using this ILT. So last class we note down the values of reaction at each supports and also draw down the RA value if this is 1 kilo newton force is acting here at a point x from here and we have to find out the shear force at the C and its distance is z from this point is A and this is point B. Okay. And the total length of the span is given as small l. Okay. So the given question is that a 1 kilo newton is acting at a distance x from the point A and we have to find out the shear force at the point C. So we, we already find out that this values are the remaining distance is L minus X. We already find out this reactions RA will be equal to L minus X by L and here RB will be equal X by L. Okay. So, we can find out the shear force at this particular section. If you draw a section here, then V is acting here. So, we can find out the value of VC, that is shear force at C equals, VC will be equal, or VC plus RB equals, since to the left, to the right of this C, this only force is this RB equal to 0. So, Vc equals minus Rb, that is minus Rb means minus x by L. So, this is the condition when x is less than x is less than z. That means the z distance is more when compared with this uh, x, that is 1 kilo newton is active. So, when x is less than z, we can note out that Vc equal to minus Rb minus RB so which is equal to minus X by L and here we can note down that Vx equal or when X equal to 0 when X equal to 0 when X equal to 0 what is going to happen the shear force that is C will be equal 0 itself then when X equal to when X equal to um, Z then Vc value is going to be minus z by l. So, this is the first case. Then again we will come to the second case that when z or x greater than z, that means the diagram will change. That is, this is our c position, it is not going to change and this is, this is z. And here the 1 kilo newton is acting at a distance x. That means when x is greater than z. And here the values are Rbx by L and here the value is L minus X by L. Okay. So again we can find out that the shear force that you see is that if you are going to take a section here to the left of C if you are taking what is going to happen that is V that is Vx is acting downward so we can write down as Vc is equal to R. that is Vc equal to L minus X by L and when X equal to Z 
okay when x equal to z bc is going to be l minus z by l then when x equal to l it is bc is going to be zero that is shear force at c equal to zero so this is the condition of uh, for for various position where the shear force varies then our next intention is to draw the ilt for this shear force so if you take the beam that is here this is our three points this is not changing and here r a and r b how the value is going to be when x equal to 0 bc is zero no problem then when x equal to z that is this much a distance is z then bc value is going to be negative so it will come this point then when x at a certain distance another value is going to happen that is l minus z by l so it is positive so we will draw here in the positive direction so again it is going to be at x equal to l it is again going to be zero so this is the value for or this is the graphical representation of ild for ild for shear force okay ild so this is the case general case for a unit load when passing over through this simply supported beam so this is the diagram of shear force for ild for a simply supported beam okay so then our intention is to draw the bending over the diagram when this unit load is passing over through this beam so that we will draw so this is a beam simply supported beam and at point c we have to find out the bending moment and in the similarly in the case that is repeating that x distance is here one kilo newton is acting here and this distance is going to be z so the value at the ra will be the value at ra will be l minus x by l and here the value is going to be x by l so we have to find out the bending moment at the c bending moment at the c how can you find out it is acting in the clockwise direction if you take a section here that is if you are going to consider a section here it is going to be acting in the clockwise direction and this is in the angle clockwise direction okay so mc value is going to be and this distance what is this distance it will be l minus z so rb multiplied by l minus z okay when x less than is that okay this is the condition so when x equal to 0 when x equal to 0 mc value is going to be what is the value and this value we know that x by l into l minus z so it is going to be 0 when x equal to z mc is going to be mc is going to be z by l multiplied by l minus z okay again we have to consider this moving load passes over this c position and it is acting here one kilo newton is acting here this distance is z this distance is x and here the simply supported is acting and here l minus x by l here x by l okay so this is the condition when x greater than z when x greater than z and we are going to take a section at c so we can note down that mc is equal to mc value is equal to ra multiplied by ra multiplied by this z this distance okay so we can note down that when x equal to z mc is going to be l minus x by l multiplied by x is that so when x equal to z l minus z by l multiplied by z so this is the value then when x equal to when x equal to l the value is going to be if you substitute it is going to be zero so our next intention is to draw the bending moment diagram for this simply supported beam so we can note down that 
at a, when x equal to 0, a value is going to be 0, then at a, a distance z, the mo bending moment value will be z by l multiplied by l minus z. And here also the same situation. Here it is going to be x, so it is also z. So the value is a positive value, so we can draw here. And at this point, when x equal to l, it is going to be 0. So this is the figure for the bending moment diagram for simply supported D when a point load is moving over the support. So this is the case related with the simply supported beam for the uh, shear force, then bending moment and supports at each react at each support uh, reaction at each support. So with this we'll end up today's section. Thank you.